up everybody welcome back to my channel um thanks for joining back uh it's gonna be a little different of a video today more of a well i guess sort of like a review of sorts and also a how-to um it's a really exciting product and um this is uh all i've been introduce yourself yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm trey bell with biotope um i'm got a new tank design that i know a lot of y'all have seen and have been asking for some more I don't know, a little more information on it and everything so yeah. i figured why not fly up to ohio the yeah. snow from the carolinas <laughs> uh to, uh, change. Yeah. yeah to bring it up to troy and let him put it together and hopefully yeah. y'all enjoy it's, it. a, it's a really cool tank um i hope you guys enjoy it we're gonna get into it and show you the ins and outs and how to do it and uh enjoy the video all right guys and here you can see the tank is uh fully assembled um, which we're gonna show you how to do that in the video um but yeah i mean you can see it's really well designed really neat looking um you can kind of see how everything just locks together um you'll see like i say in in the couple minutes here when we build it you'll see how it goes together but uh, i'm gonna let trey here talk a little more about the design and everything with the tank he knows more than i do so yep. take it away <laughs> been a long time um <laughs> So, yeah, so uh, we'll just start with the material of the tank. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, we call it, I buy it under the name called Alu Poly. Okay. Uh, so it's a high density polyethylene yep. core um, that is skinned. It's a quarter inch thick material. Mm -hmm. it's skinned in two pieces of aluminum on both sides, sandwiched. Okay. Uh, that's a PVD aluminum. Is it, uh, would it rust maybe? It will, it, you know, it's, it's anodized aluminum, so you're not going to get any physical rust like you would see in something made of steel sure uh, but aluminum will and anything will corrode uh, okay but a corrosion factor of anodized aluminum so it won't cause any damage it won't cause any damage okay. actually the corrosion of aluminum is harder than aluminum. okay and what about warping anything with that no there's nothing on this that is hydroscopic whatsoever okay uh, my last tank that when i tested the exact design just the wrong material was yep. out of acrylic and it worked so okay this is the uh the acrylic killer okay um and uh this this is glass yeah so we have eighth glass, glass here this is eighth inch glass um secured from the bottom so if yep. anybody's not putting dart frogs in it sure if your uh animal goes to push up yeah, it's, it's not going anywhere against, no it's yeah. not going anywhere it's pushing against uh the only way to get out to, to break it to break it yeah, yeah. and then okay. well uh, and, and then yeah. down here talk about the, the door design it's uh, pretty interesting to what i've seen as far as um the track itself yeah, so this is a this it's an extrusion I'm having to custom order. Yep. Um, but it is solid, it's solid aluminum extrusion. It's satin. It's anodized also. Yep. Um, and there's no gap there's in between no the gap door. In between the door. So I made it. It's the closest tolerance that I can find to this glass. So, so fruit flies are, cannot get through there. Fruit flies are and not. You guys can see there. here this edge. Um, I mean, there's no gap. Yes. So fruit flies cannot get out along the sides. And like my tanks that I do, um, like I'll show you guys real quick, you know, there's a gap here. It's about an eighth of an inch gap, maybe a little less than an eighth, um, but flies can definitely escape there. I'm okay with that because I'm in the garage and it's not like my living room. So, um, but this is something that, you know, flies cannot get through there. Correct. So um, that's, you know, to my knowledge, the first, um, just the way it's built, uh, fruit fly proof sliding glass door system I've ever seen. So that's uh, something to speak about, so. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I know we'll get questions on the uh, the perforated material now. Sure. This is, uh, I believe these are 16th inch. Um, they're either 16th or 3 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I believe they're 16. Uh, fruit flies can get through these, but again, this is the, again, final prototype. Mm -hmm. I'm giving this tank to Troy and he doesn't care if fruit flies get up. Correct. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but the assembled tank will have already, and this comes pre-assembled and you'll see that later in the video, um, but I will have a piece of screen material that will go over this material here for people that need it 100% fruit fly proof. And there is absolutely no way a fly is escaping. Yeah. Um, I'm not guaranteeing that, but um, <laughs> it should I'm not. highly suggesting yeah. Yeah. that that's an accurate statement. Correct. And then also Same up thing here. For the vent up here. Yeah, also the vent up here. So that for the for uh, dark frog people, uh, fruit fly feeding uh, people, yep. uh, I'll make sure that that is uh, an option. And as, as far as, um, so say you wanted to drill for misting, a misting nozzle or for a bulkhead for drainage. So this, yeah, this material. Special drill bit or just no, any? No, any drill bit. Um, you know, I mean, use a nice one if you have it. But sure. if you only have a, if you, 
if you just have a wood bit, a yeah. wood bit will go right through this yep. stuff. Um, it's always good to have a little bit of a pilot hole, which you want sure. to do that anyway for sure. centering up your holes. Yep. But it's not like glass. Yep. Uh, and take ten minutes, and the whole you're not going to ruin anything. Sure. And then silicone. We, as you guys can see, we did silicone the inside. Um, we haven't done the water test just yet, but um, we plan on doing so. Um, and just from my um, own personal thoughts, I don't see why silicone. I mean, this feels just like glass, if not. Uh, more sticky than glass. So I, I don't see why that silicone would come off. And even on here, I mean, this feels just as if silicone was to be attached to glass. So um, I do not think it's going to leak. So we'll test it out and find out. But um, well, we've, I've done, and I've done a silicone test yep, and it had silicone, great results. Yep. And then I've done a great stuff foam test, which I'm going to, you know, I'm going to test out. I don't know if I'll test out why Trey's still here. Um, we could do like a little test. Uh, I do have some great stuff, but um, yeah, I'm going to Definitely put that to test and see how it, see how it holds up. And I, like I said, I mean, I don't think it's going to have any problem. And, you know, I know there's all, multiple techniques to get great stuff to not come off, even if – because great stuff doesn't adhere to glass really sure. well. Um, and there's some stuff people can do. So. Well, what's a cool well, – lastly, and I'll talk about the great stuff. Um, yeah. Being that this material you can drill through, yep. if you know you're going to have high spots in a certain area, yeah. you can drill through, put in a – I mean, you can put in a bolt, you put yep. a stainless steel bolt. Yep. And just fasten it from the outside, from the back side. Sure. And that'll be, you know, and then great stuff over that. And then you've got. Good to go. Yeah, you're, you're, it's yeah. not coming off. It's yep. not going to fall off. And something I like about this design, everybody, is um, it's, you know, similar to as far as the height, you know, on my substrate dam that I recently did on these tanks. It's a four inch. Um, his is actually a three inch. So even more of a, you know, more of a, a viewing profile for your, for your glass here. Um, so, you know, it's similar in, in the design where you're not going to have to ha have, you know, six six inches of substrate and drainage layer. By all means, if you want to do that, I guess you could, but it would be weird having... The options there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, but like I, I, I've been working on my newer tanks, um, trying to get, you know, a lower, um, you know, you can see here I only have about two inches maybe um, of, you know, drainage and substrate, two, two and a half inches. So... You know, I think that kind of goes hand in hand with this as far as, you know, this is a 20 inch tall. Yeah, so that's, this is 20. And again, this is the final prototype and I am making yep. one measurement change for the production unit, which yep. it's all, it's all parametric. It's uh, yeah. it's all going to adjust down to it. So there's no issue, no need to retest. Right. Um, but the, uh, the 20 inch tall, it's 16 inches deep because yep. I do a lot. I like rear plumbing yep. and I like leaving a good two inches behind the standard baker's rack, yep. which are 18 deep. Yep. Um, and then it's going to be 22 and a half inches wide. Yep. So you'll be able to side by side two of these on a baker's rack. Perfect. Yep. And the tops will line up. You see the top yeah. and the bottom stick out a little bit more, but they'll yep. sit flush. So when you run lights across it, you won't get that bead of light down here. Of course. Yep. It'll be just a clean. Nice. A yeah, nice you won't clean. have to do like the light shields like I do in between. You, you won't have to do that. Uh, it's going to fit. It's perfect. Pretty much perfect. Um, which, is, which is great. And um, so, yeah. We're gonna. I don't know. I, don't, I don't, can't really think of anything else to talk about. Just going we're over everything we cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're gonna show you guys how to uh, how to build this thing, and um, yeah, and then we'll we'll talk to you guys afterward and go from there. All right. So uh, this is my first voiceover. So <laughs> y'all bear with me. Um, and no, my lips aren't matching to what I'm saying on the on the screen right now. But uh, what I'm trying to show you guys is the uh, the depth of this. And what we're, we're just over an inch or so, right? Yep. Um, so that's the that's how the tank will look when it's shipped. Of course, all the pieces are installed. Uh, the track is installed. The top glass and the vents are all installed, and the doors will come shipped. So that'll be shipped secured in uh, more or less a window frame box with corner guards um, and yeah, styrofoam all around it. So it'll look. Basically, just like that. With just like that. Would, yep. yep. Just inside of a, a flat box. Yep. So showing, showing how flat this thing will be once it ships, and again, how many, yeah, I can stack in a yeah. in a car. I mean, I'm sure we've all done that before. Absolutely. So, uh, so there's your bottom pane. Um, where, uh, and the yeah, the air dam assembly. So. Of course, the uh, the Euro vent draws air in through the front, um, which is this area I'm putting in here. And then uh, the back piece there is just a rigid back piece uh, that separates the yep. 
yeah, the, the dam from the tank. And on the Euro vent, you were saying when you were building it, there was there's a piece that's higher and that goes up top. That's yeah, kind of off center. Yeah, it's it, it or... measures up, and I'll have when uh, I'll have a mark dry erase marked which end goes up. Nice. Um, because we did have we did have that, uh, and I uh, there's a possibility I can center that up, but yeah. I like it the way it is. And yeah. I don't want to mess with it. Yeah. Because then everybody's gonna want me to test it for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I tried to do this uh, just you know just myself. I mean, Troy yeah. was standing there behind me, but I want y'all to see yep. how easy this is, and we don't have to use filled up gallon jugs and yep. Coke bottles and right angle squares. Um, just gotta person, tinker with it a little bit, and then it kind of yeah, because it nests in there pretty tight, yep. so it'll click in, and then. I think we spin the tank around here to get a better shot, yeah, don't we? It's just uh, where you're putting Oh, it's the, the bottom, vent. yeah. So this is the vent piece. I like to put that in last. Uh, so you can kind of just move the sides, and that'll click into place. I just see very easily, and, and really secures the front. So. And to, to, to do the back panel, it's just easier to turn yeah, the tank around. Yeah, instead you. of trying to reach behind it. So all yeah. we did there was just spun the tank around so you all could see the back. And uh, back t the back panel is reversible up and down. Um, Nice. There's Which not like an cool. inside yeah. or outside. Or... Not an inside or outside. Not an up or down. So if you really, I mean, if you do a background and you're not, you don't like the way it turns out. Yeah. You can flip the thing over and do yeah. another one, or upside <laughs> down if you get a cooler. You know, if you get some cooler uh, yeah. effects on the bottom and you want them on the top, just yeah. flip it. That's true. So that, yeah, that fit right in, and again showing the lid um, or the top rather, and just snapping that piece in. Um, that's it. I mean, I've had this tank set up in my house for two weeks. I've moved it from room to room. I've assembled it, disassembled it, reassembled it on video, showed pictures, spun it around. And I've never gone past this uh, with the fasteners or silicone. So that's also very convenient yeah. uh, to be able to dry fit this together yeah. um, without having to do what we're about to do now. So uh, I'm showing the screws that I'm using currently. These are uh, they're M4s, uh, half inch long, and they're with, we're going to speed this up because it's just me screwing in. Uh, I don't know, however many screws there are, it's not many. It just takes a couple minutes, and and you said you could use a drill. You should use a drill. I'm just using uh, I'm using a screwdriver to show that it can be done. Yeah, Min um, with minimal tools. With minimal tools. I mean, yeah. literally with a screwdriver and silicone. Yeah. Um, a drill this would have taken maybe two minutes I mean there's four screws on one side six on the other six on the top I mean there's nothing I think we yeah 14 yeah. 16 screws something like that but they'll come with the kit and I'll also uh, I'll ship some extra screws but. that's kind kind of you yes it is <laughs> yes they cost four cents a piece I won't even wow. charge you I won't even charge for them I mean, that's this is America yeah this is America <laughs> so uh, again too so I'm showing I'm showing this and, and, and Troy and I've talked to and I think one of the and I mean I definitely feel one of the best attributes of this tank is the possibility of doing your backgrounds on a flat surface yeah. not having to reach up in the tank get in the tank yeah. carve everything out vacuum everything out. You can take this, put it on a table, uh, wrap it up with a, you know, wrap it up with cling film or with trash bags or whatever. Do your thing. All the trash is out. You know, you don't have to worry about. Not that you're contaminating the tank, but yep. yeah, I think that's a neat. Uh, and these are the glass panels that ship with the door, and you saw it. They just, I mean, you sandwich them together, push up in the top, and then drop them, set them down in the bottom track. And that's the tank, and it's, I mean, it slides easy. There's a, I have a piece of uh, material in the bottom of that rail that creates a, a better sliding surface for the glass and raises it up enough to make it where we can remove the glass without having to take the top off, um, which is a cool function. Yeah. And like you were saying, that tolerance is very tight. They got, I yeah. think you can really see it from here, but yeah, it's, you can it's, talk about that. It's shocking. Um, and I'm, yeah, what I'm talking about here on that side um, and the other side, I'm uh, more than likely going to route a eighth inch or so channel yeah. uh, into that material. So when the glass doors slide open, they kind of, they dip back in just in case the glass isn't, yeah, I'm do my best to get the most square cut glass, but there's always that little area that you might get a little 
play yep. and I don't want to put window pile or anything. Sure, that sure. All right, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the little tutorial, I guess, of how to build the tank. Um, you know, I think it's a really cool product. I hope you guys think it's cool as well. And um, yeah, if you're interested in, um, you know, more information about the, the product itself or uh, where to get them, you know, Trey. Yeah, um, of course you can find me on Facebook, uh, Trey, T-R-E-Y, Bell, B-E-L-L. -L. We'll, I'm sure we'll put something in the, in the link below. Um, and email me. Uh, my website's being developed right now. It'll, it might take another three or four days before it's live, but uh, email's up and running and it's sales at biotopeus.com. Um, please just contact me if you have any interest. Um, I will be pre taking pre-orders only for this first uh, for this first run. And uh, yeah, I need I need y'all support and I need people to help me not test it out because uh, it's been tested. Um, but I need people, you know, talking about it. And again, if you, if that's you, I mean, these tanks, uh, they're going to, I mean, they're going to ship for 185 bucks. Yep. So that's, that's, shipped, that's right? shipped. shipped to your door, yep. shipping included. Yep. Um, and I can see the price, yeah, price going up from there maybe. So I don't know if we want to hop in early. Sure. Um, sure. but, uh, I appreciate, uh, getting Troy for, doing all this and, appreciate you flying out man watching the video. Awesome, Absolutely. awesome situation so all right guys um anything else we're good we're good all right guys uh till next time goldberg and bell out <laughs>